area. <laughs> Our president, Bola Ahmed Nubu, he say eh, he name suppose enter Guinness World Record. As per, he don't do what people never do before. <laughs> <laughs> ah, to the my ma, to the my ma. You want to enter Guinness Book of World Record? He said, if you name no enter there, he go find way put in name. Oh, say he name suppose enter there. As per say, him don't do waiting people never do before. Make I not talk too much. Where could I help me here as Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the Jagaban of Africa? As he take talk this the way I am now. Watch. If you add the fear of various others, just look at me. I am from private sector, one of you. <coughs> Trained by Deloitte. for mobile exam mobile until I got to become the treasurer of the corporation. So define corporate governance whichever way I am in it. And from there I have governed Lagos for eight consecutive years. And today I can brag, beat my chest, that Lagos is on the horizon. It is the fifth largest economy in Africa, from zero. Look, that's a track record that I can use to assure you. And that's the track record that got me into this office as the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. <laughs> Nigeria voted for me for reforms. And from day one of my inauguration, I started the reform. Day one. To me, if you didn't mention me in the Guinness Book of Records, I'm on it. <laughs> I will try to find a way to insert myself. <laughs> because I did it without expectation. My inaugural speech didn't disclose what I would do that day. I removed the first subsidy that is a greatest body and pipeline to fraud and irregularities, a great body to Nigerians from the moment I stepped into the office. You, you hear up? <laughs> he said that him be the only person we get the balls to kickstart government from day one inauguration day say that's the way you talk first subsidy is god say you know they inside his speech but he talk him he had the balls <laughs> him get the boss to come out him. say now corruption eh now be before subsidy eh? say they suppose carry in name enter guinness world record okay we all agree that your name should be in the guinness world record you understand for sure, you know, shaggy. <laughs> the one before you shared, uh, showed us, uh, uh, Buhari showed us a uh, shaggy. Now, you came and packaged the shaggy and made it shaggy. Banza. No wonder you were telling us during the campaign that you are going to build on the legacy of Buhari. We have seen the building now. <laughs> we have seen the building. I have not the building. How much is dollar today since you took over? Just six months or seven months. How much now? Ghana cities. <laughs> say Ghana. Cameroon Sefa. If you go 1,000 Cameroon Sefa, you know how much you go for Naira? You go 1,600 Naira. Come on. Cameroonians, they come like Nigeria, they are big boys. <laughs> are we talking about uh, Ghana and the other? Let them come here. Any amount you have, you enter here, you're a big boy. You can afford to eat three square meals a day. 
the Nara has perfect card. Under who? Under Tinubu. This is, I'm giving you reasons why your name should be in the Guinness World Record. You enter poverty full everywhere. Our own crude oil. We can't buy it for how much? 700 is what? It only go 1,000 there. Something where God give us. Eh? Now, under your regime, we call the year Billy Billy. People, they buy fan. 2 billion naira. <laughs> and now you carry the governor. We buy fan. 2 billion naira. Now you put her for power inside Lagos State. No be you. No be under your regime. We hear say, we won't buy 5 billion naira yach. So you go to cruise on top water. <laughs> oh my, you deserve to be a Guinness World Record. Eh? No, be your regime, you go spend 500 more, uh, uh, they send a 500,000 US, uh, US dollars, I mean 500 million, I don't even know. The money you go spend for, say you go, you go United Nations uh, uh, Assembly, Unga, eh, you go United Nations General Assembly. Just seven days inside a hotel, you spend, they send a 500 and something thousand US dollars. Maybe if you convert them to Naira, like millions, now you go spend in seven days. <laughs> My brother, you deserve a mention in the Guinness World Record. But it's not for the good. This is why they say, yeah. It is not for the good. And we will make sure, we will keep singing your, your praises in the negative way until your name enter that Guinness World Record. As the man will show us Shiggy Banza. <laughs> you want to enter Guinness World Record. Don't worry, I will go help you enter Guinness World Record. For centuries, the Ijele has been a revered masquerade in Igbo land, a predominant tribe in southern Nigeria. The Ijele is a grand spectacle that commands respect, awe and celebration. Today, Innocent Vehicles brings you the Ijele in a new form. A majestic, robust and monolithic pickup truck designed to leave an indelible mark in the annals of automotive history. The Innocent Ijele is equipped with a powerful 3.0L turbo engine and 4WD to conquer any terrain with ease. Make way for the Innocent Ijele, Innocent Vehicle, the pride of African roads. See what your party is doing every day. We, we, we now won't convert. Hey, hey, another reason why your name should enter Guinness World. We now won't convert Nigeria now to one party system. You want to take over all the north, everywhere, APC. You want to take over everywhere. You don't buy judiciary. You don't buy INEC. My brother, President, you deserve a mention in the Guinness World Record. Nigeria is not on here. Uh -huh. Let us publicize our president as we publicize Hilda Bassi, that one, that cookaton, uh, the longest cooking time. We did not collect from him now. Uh -huh. Let us publicize our president like that. Maybe Guinness World Record, they will see him and say, Yes, this man deserves a mention in the Guinness World Record. Let us help him break that record. Nah, I think I will see you later. <laughs>